Hello everybody, my name is Brendan Grimlock Mitchell here, and today we are back with another video, and today we are playing the requested game off my straw poll, even though only one person voted, but you know, I ain't gonna wait for that shit. I played the first requested game, the first voted game out of three. So we are playing Fallout Tactics, the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I don't know if I want to play the intro or not. If you want to see the intro to this game to get the backstory on it, go find that on someone else's channel. Right now, we're going to jump straight into the game. I've only played the first mission of, on this by myself, so let's get to it, shall we? Single player. New. We are going to create a character instead of modify one and of course his name is going to be Grimlock that seems like a very uh fuck what's it called wastelandy name age we gonna hit up that 16 cause that's how old I am and of course a male cause I am a male let's go through all these uh, let's find some guy who looks like a Grimlock to me. He doesn't really look like a Grimlock, but I like the style of him. Uh, I need to remove the, or I need to move this recording thing. Alrighty, let's turn our guy so he's facing towards us. Hair. White hair, because Grimlock, you know, always got white hair, except for, like, the actual real-life Grimlock. Let's do a mutant. Yeah. And, of course, my favorite color right here. Alright, now let's get into actual character creation. So. I have never, ever been good at character creation on any Fallout game. So, first let's start with the optional traits. Your meta metabolic rate is twice normal. This means you are much less resistant to radiation and poison, but your body heals faster. Hmm. Bruiser, I know what that is and I don't want to be it. You are smaller than average, but that never slowed you down. You can't carry as much, but you are more agile. See, I am 6'4", and I am not small-framed, and as much as I like AGI types, I know how much weight affects you in any Fallout game, so no. One-hander. One of your hands is very dominant. You excel with single-handed weapons, but two-handed weapons cause a problem. I don't like single-handed weapons because I'm not a small guns type person. Finesse. Your attacks show a lot of finesse. You don't do as much damage, but you cause more critical hits. E yes. Let's do that. Ooh, bonus damage is negative 25. Critical hit chance, though, is straight up 15, which is really good. But no. Kamikaze. By not paying attention to any threats, you cause a lot more damage. This lowers uh, your armor class to just what you are wearing, but do, but you do more damage with every attack. See, I'm the kind of guy who stim packs all the time because I rush in there, so no. Heavy-handed. You are sw you swing harder, not better. I'm not a melee type at all in this game. Fast shot. You don't have time to aim for a targeted attack because you attack nor or faster than normal people. It causes you one less action point for guns and thrown weapons. Now see, I like to play in aggressive mode, so we're doing that one. Bloody mess. By some strange twist of fate, people around you die violently. You always see the worst 
uh, way a person can die. Hold on. Let's see how this fat shot affects things. Doesn't affect my stats at all. What about bloody mess? Nope. Good. We're going to go with bloody mess because I like violence. Jinxed. The good thing uh, is everyone around you is more vulnerable to bad luck. The bad news is so are you. No, thank you. Good natured. You studied less combative skill skills. Went no. Chemical reliant. You are m more easily addicted to chemicals. Your chance to be addicted by chemical use is twice normal, but you recover faster from their ill effects. <laughs> do I want to be a druggie? I wonder if you can do chemical reliant and chemical resistant. Chemicals only affect you half as long as normal, but your chance to be addicted is also 50% of normal. See, I barely ever use chemicals. Oh. You can only have two traits, okay. Night person, your vision works much better at night. Intelligence and perception get a plus one bonus at night, but get a minus one penalty during the day. Skilled, since you have spent your more time in or in more time improving your skills than a normal person, you gain five additional skill points per experience level. The trade-off is you do not gain as many extra abilities since you take one level longer to gain. I don't really understand that one. And gifted, you have more innate abilities than most, so you have not spent as much time honing your skills. Your primary static statistics are each plus one but you lose negative 18 percent on all skills to start receive five less skill points per level no i'm good with the ones i have all right let's go into actual skills not a small guns person so big guns eight percent plus two times agility so we want good agility I'm going to throw in an AGI point. Uh, energy weapons. I've never really been good at energy weapons. Throwing first aid. General healing skills used to heal small cuts and abrasions and other minor ills. So, two times perception plus uh, intelligence. So we'll throw one into perception and intelligence and we're picking what was it again first aid the healing of major wounds and crippled limbs without the skill it'll take much longer period of time to restore crippled limbs to use uh nah and i already know what i want to go with lock pick perception and more agility so we're going to throw more into perception and more into agi all righty i think we're good guys let's get into this Ten, huh? All right, you mutated redneck green skin. I got my volume down because I didn't want to affect the video because I did a test earlier and you could barely hear me. But I have already seen this cutscene, so you guys enjoy. In my time in the Brotherhood, I have personally trained more than 50 initiates, and I am proud to say almost 14 of them are still alive and kicking. The elders have ordered me to mold you flabby, hip slapping, berry picking, rat rubbing, Brahmin kissers into capable warriors. And I am going to do it. Even if it kills you, I will teach you how to eat, sleep, walk, talk, shoot, spit like a Brotherhood soldier. First level of training will be recruitment detail. You'll I wish they put your specialized character into the uh, uh, cinematics, but that was probably impossible the back then. Sorry if videos get a little cutty, like these world, intros and stuff. You would be surprised on how, like, this looks like shitty graphics, but it actually affects training. your computer pretty hardcore. And for back then, these are amazing graphics. Like, I don't even know how fucking computers back then ran this shit. If you damage your weapon, you will spend a week in the box. If you damage your armor, you will spend a week in the box. If you lose either, I'll kill you myself.
And one final thing, ladies. Huh? Welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel has way better cinematics hey, than the regular Fallout. My name but is General Barnicky. I will be giving Fallout you your orders really before too. every mission. But before that, I'd like to personally welcome you aboard. Considering that the Brotherhood basic training attrition rate is 85%, you should be very proud of yourself. Now, on to business. Two nights ago, raiders invaded the resource-rich tribal village of Brahminwood. Their losses have been heavy, and they are now ready to accept the Brotherhood's conditions for protection. We will return their lands and rescue these primitive people in exchange for food and a portion of their older children for new recruits. We must expand our ranks to meet our objectives, which makes every village count. I don't know what is driving the raiders this close to our base of operations, but they have been punishing the surrounding area. Brahminwood is one of many villages that is now occupied by raiders. The inhabitants that did not escape have been slain or imprisoned. Make no mistake, Initiate. They have killed a fair amount of our brothers. Do not underestimate them. You will take your squad to Brahminwood. Locate and eliminate the leader of the group of raiders. They need to redo this Once game in 3D. I mean, think about it. Like, disarray. Fallout 3 you will level use the graphics and, you know, FPS. To butcher but the with squad criminal. commands and shit, that would be awesome. This is a standard assault awesome. mission. So, consult the map in your Pip-Boy for the latest intelligence on the area. One more thing, warrior. You must ensure that the village elder survives. He is the key to our plans for this town. According to the local tribal custom, he alone deals with outsiders. Without him, we can have no agreement with the rest of the tribe. Dismissed. Alrighty. All right, here's our map. Your insertion point. The red circle is outline enemy activity. The blue circles out indicate additional information. Proceed to the extraction point upon completion of mission objectives. Intelligence reports that this area is lightly patrolled, and since I've already played this first mission, I know that right here, right where I'm pointing with this pointer, is a raider and a dog. Alright, secondary. Raiders have taken over this building and are using it as a guardhouse. There will be a raider right here, a raider sniper right here, and a guy in that building. The main door bars y your entry to encampment. Uh, you get the key from the guy in here. In here, scouts report the gatehouse as occupi occupied by enemy forces. It serves as the first line of defense for the raiders. There will be three raiders in here. Out here, no raiders. The kennels will have uh, will likely be replaced by raider trained war dogs. These war dogs have been known to be used as an early warning system. Doesn't really matter because they die in one hit. There will be a sleeping guard right here, two sleeping dogs right here. All right, and then you continue into this area. And reconnaissance reported this building as a tool shed. That tool shed is filled with five raiders. That tool shed will enter out right here. There will be three raiders in there, I, th I think, anyways. Intelligence reports that this building was another guard post. It is almost certain to be manned by the raiders. There is one guy in there. You have to shoot him, pick lock the door, uh, use a crowbar on it because it's blocked, get the key, open the door right here, and you go into this encampment. There will be a raider right here. And three raiders up here. Right here, this is a well-known, well-defended bunker here. The number of raiders inside is unknown. It's little. I can't remember the exact numbers. This area is patrolled, but further information is vague because of the dense rooms impeding the scouting effort. There's quite a few guys right here. And then there's three guys out here, one guy on the roof, and five guys inside of this building. This is like, or this is the newly established headquarters of the raiders. The leader is most likely to be found here. Expect any guards to be alert and resistance to be heavy. 
Alrighty, guys, let's get into it. So this is Fallout Tactics Brotherhood. Reload my gun on Grimlock, go into his inventory, see what he has. What is this? Hypodermic needle full of poison, cool. Stinky meat platter, ring poles, legal tender for the world of the waste. Really? That's interesting, not caps. Booze, stim pack. Alrighty. So we are going to put the stim pack as our right hand tool. And then for Farsight is a sniper. She carries a hunting rifle and a knife. In here, yep, we don't really need to change anything. Alrighty. And Stitch is our medic. He carries a shotgun. And he will never use his knife, so we are going to put his stim packs right here. Alrighty. That's done. Let's select all our guys and have them regroup right here. We are going to put them in crouching aggressive mode on... No, we don't need to use sneak just yet. Alright, now we go over here. Run. And we talk to Village Elder. Greetings to the Brotherhood of Steel. You are speaking with Charon, Elder and Tribal Father to Brahmin Wood. This guy looks like a thug in the 21st Our century. Has Doesn't he? Raiders Doesn't he? Rode out of the darkness. Yeah, he's talking so like some old escape death oh, or bondage yeah, by fleeing into the wasteland. God with two heads. But without tools and shelter. This must be the doing of the Brahmin God of Fate. See? With the bandits, we trade away our present. In the Brotherhood, we trade away our future. Ah, very well, Initiate. I fully agree to your terms. But I fear this decision will haunt me till I reach the eternal grazing field in the heavens. Our villages are being held prisoner in the camp. Save them, and you will have more people to aid your cause. Lose them, and you will be cutting Brahmin from your own herd. Alright, enough with the cow jokes, guy. We are going to put these guys in sneak. Oh wait, we can't right there. We are going to run them right here. And then put them in sneak. Ah, right here? Come on. Let me put them in sneak, Jesus Christ. Cannot sneak? You know what? Screw it. We're go going to go in guns a-blazing because they've already seen us. some things. This is single shot. We gotta make ev sure everyone's in single shot so we're not wasting ammo. Let's raid this dead raider for 27 ammo and a small pistol for later squad because we are going to build up our squad. Hold on guys, just got to check my snapchat. Alright, let's get back into it. There is a locked door here that can only be opened once the mission is ended. Let's run our guys. Wow. 
why didn't all of our guys run here? Ah, come on, guys. Work together. Jesus Christ. If there's one complaint I have about this game, is sometimes squad controls are a little bit dumb. They're going to run this guy over here. Fast kill. Alright. Raid this dead raider. For more ammo. Actually, let's just take all and add these stim packs to these ones. No? Okay. here so we can raid this other raider. For more ammo, eh, let's just take all. Because we will need it later for our extended squads. We get... Oh, I thought the key was on him. I guess the key's in the chest. Run, you maggot. Yeah, the key's in the chest. Take all. Come on, guys. Farsight's almost dead. Jesus Christ, I need to keep an eye on my health. Check all shelves. Ooh, more stim packs. Yes, please. This guy is trying to sneak, run our guys around the corner. <gasps> Stitch is dead, what? Stitch has never died on me before. Fuck. All right guys, we need to go at this more strategically. I don't think we'll have anything that can bring him back, but let me check. Nope, nothing. God damn it. Alright, guys, we need to be more careful. We're going to switch into this, switch into sneak mode, and go in this building. Usually you can just run up in this, on this mission. Ooh, this, this video is getting long, guys. I may have to cut it off. Yeah, we're going to cut it off in here when my guys stop moving and I can save. Where are you? Oh, okay. I was like, where the fuck are you going? What are you shooting at? Okay, well that handles that. Oh yeah, I forgot, Farsight's a sniper. She killed the guy who was sleeping and the dogs. Nice. 
Good job, Farsight. Alright, guys, we're gonna save it off right here. This... I need to, like, write down my outros, because I'm always jumbling it up. But, this is the first episode of Fallout Tactics, The Brotherhood of Steel. If you want to see more, drop a like, leave a comment, share this video, and smash that subscribe button. I'll see you all next time. Peace!